Welcome to the Soft 4FX Forex Simulator tutorial where I will be showing you the best settings for MT5. So I have used a lot of uh, simulators, a lot of programs to backtest in MT5 and in other, in other softwares and trading platforms and the Soft 4FX Simulator has been the best one. So I'll walk you through the steps on how to download it and how to choose the best settings so you can get started, get some practice in and backtest your manual strategy and become profitable. Okay, so first step is you have to download it. We'll link is in the description. You go to the official website. Now we will be doing this for MT5. So obviously we will download the MT5 version. You just click on download and then you will have it in your download folder. So once you downloaded it, you simply go into your download folder, you double click on it, and then this new window will pop up. You scroll all the way to the bottom, once you accept, and then it will automatically, so now what it will do is if you have different versions of MT5 installed, it will automatically find them and install the software effects simulator in each one of those MT5 versions. So this may take a little while, so I have three different ones on this computer. We have three different ones. And then you click on install. Okay, now installation complete. All you have to do at this point is to double check, make sure if you see success, it either says success or that it has failed. Now we have a success on each one of those. So it successfully installed them on all three versions, which is great. So this is now complete. Now what we have to do is we can get out of this. And now we go into MT5, we open up MT5, and now you should see in your navigator to the left, you have a folder called Soft4FX. You click on that folder and you double click on the Forex simulator, and then you will see this window where just click OK. And now a new window will pop up. If you already purchased your full version, you simply fill this in with your email and your activation code, which will be sent to you. Now, if you don't have the full version yet, I'll add the link in the description with the discount code where you can get, get it with a 20% discount for the full lifetime version. You get both the MT4 and MT5. So you'll add the discount code and you get the save 20%. Also, you have access to over 10 years of data. So that's all included, one-time payment. And as a nice extra bonus, you actually also get access to a one month free membership to our trading group, CPP Traders Master Group, where you can join live sessions while we'll be using the software effect simulator. In weekly live sessions, you get to see how to backtest, how to use different price action strategies, and how to become profitable. All right, so, so then once you have your activation code, you click OK, you log in. And now first step is we have to go to the data center. So very important you do this first. You click on the data center and here we have to choose the folder. So you can either change the folder or you can use a folder you already have. And then for the data provider, I always use Tuka's copy, but you can use either one of those. This can save you a lot of time as well. I would recommend to only choose the pairs that you actually will be trading because you can download the data of all the pairs, which will take a long time, especially if you go back for like 10 years in the past. So now what we're going to do is we'll just select the Euro USD. We'll just download for the Euro USD and then you'll see it'll ask you for how long. Now let's say we'll do this for two years, for the past two years. This may take a little while. Perfect. So now the data for the Euro USD has been downloaded. Now we will also download, let's say, the pound yen, GBP, JPY. We'll do the same for two years. Download. Wait a couple of seconds until it's downloaded. Okay, so now we have selected the pairs that we want to trade and backtest. Now we can close this and proceed with a new simulation. So we click on new simulation. And now here, first step again, you have to add the pairs to the list. So on the MT5 version, you can actually trade up to 20 different pairs at the same time in the same simulation. So we will add the EURUSD and the GBP JPY. You can see we have selected two of them. I have to make sure that you do this. You cannot forget this step because the spread is now set based on your data provider, Tuka's copy. 
However, if you're using a different broker, your data, your spreads are going to be different. So it's very important that you change this. I always recommend that you use the average spread that you know you're getting from your broker. So with the broker I'm using, we have excellent spreads. So I'm going to change this to zero pips because you always get zero pips on the Euro USD. Save, and we'll do the same on the pound yen. Let's say on the pound yen, we have an average of maybe five points, 0 0.5 pips. Perfect. If you do not have a good broker with low spread, I'll add a list in the description with some brokers that have the lowest spreads available that we would recommend, and you can choose one there. All right, so next one, we have to select the start date, November 1st, 2024. For the end of simulation, you can either choose until the data is run out or you can select a specific date. We will leave it at this. On this one, you can either let it be or sometimes I'll change it to 100. So that just means if you go to the left on your chart, you'll see candlesticks up to 100 days uh, in the past. Account currency will leave at USD, 10,000 is fine. And then here again, commission per lot, we have very low commission. Let's do $2 per lot. That's what we're paying actually even a bit less depending on the broker. Leverage, we use 200. And then here, rewinding allowed. This means that you can go back in time. So we will leave this on for now if it's just for practice, for simulating. But if you want to do a simulation, more real life scenario, and you don't want to see how your strategy is performing, and you don't want to allow yourself to just go back in time, then I would deselect this. But for now, we can leave it on. So I can also show you how it works. And then time zone, we will choose here what we are in, uh, in New York. So Eastern time zone. And now we have all the settings and click on start simulation. So this is now our panel, basically like our trade manager where we can place trades and everything. We have selected two pairs. So on the bottom here, you can see Euro USD in our simulation and the GBP JPY. This is going to automatically use your standard, you know, the default settings, but we want to change this. So we're going to load a template and I'll add a link in the description where you can download all these templates for free at no cost. We'll load the same here. We can use different templates. Like we have black and white. We have um, color on black, color on white. So we'll use this one. We'll use color on black. All right, so let's start on the Euro USD. So now I recommend to always start off with your session map. So you click on this, where you can see where you are in relation to the different sessions. You know, obviously if you're trading during, if you want to trade during the London session or the New York session, then you have another window here for the news, where you actually see all the different news coming up. We're not interested in the low impact news. So then the high impact news like CPI or NFP unemployment rates, they always move, move prices. The market will react to those news. So it's important to keep an eye on the news when they're coming up so you can close your positions or mitigate risk. So we can close this now. All right, so let's do a top-down analysis quickly so we can see if there's a trade we can take. Let's start on the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, we've moved up. We have a level here that may turn into a, a support. We uh, may can move back down to the open of that bull candle. It's forming a resistance up there. Let's take a look on the one hour. One hour is moving down nicely as a resistance formed up there, which is great. This may be a target level. Uh, let's look on the 30 minute. On the 30 minute, it has come down. So the 30 minute it has broken through this support is now turning into resistance. So it is actually a good idea to take a sell here. So we'll take a sell to place a trade on your panel here to the left. You can select between a fixed lot size, a risk percentage or risk dollar. We'll always use a risk percentage. So let's use, um, we can either use 0.5 or we can use 1%. We'll use 1%. And with selecting 1%, we can now set the stop loss and take profit in different ways. You can either set it with pips or at a specific price level, or you have another option, which I always prefer is the visual mode. So if we click on the visual mode, and now we are using a market order and we're taking a sell. 
we have these two lines that I can now adjust. So this is going to be the stop loss where it will automatically adjust the lot size according to your risk, 1% of your account size. So I'll put my stop up there. This is going to be the take profit level. Let's put that down there and accept. Okay, so now we can play. We can uh, play here and you see the speed. So this is one time. This means it's the real speed, real life market, the way the price was moving at that time on that date, on November 1st, 2024. And if I move this bar here, you can speed up the time. So now it's running at five times the speed. So it's moving five times faster than real life speed. Or we can increase it even more to, let's say, 40 times. And this is really nice because you can process a lot more data in a short amount of time. All right, so this one, let's just uh, as an example, if we pause this now, we can even pause this. And if we go down on a different time frame, let's say on the five minute, one way is to increase the speed. And obviously you can make it faster or slower, or you can also just skip forward to the next candle. So on this one, we are on the five minute. Now if I click here, it will move forward to the next till the next five minute candle is closed, as you can see. So this is also very nice if you want to really backtest a manual strategy, look at specific setups, very, very nice feature to have. And you have this option here too, where you can synchronize it with the chart, where you change it to say the 15 minute, but I always recommend leaving it synchronized with the chart, with the time frames. So if you're on the five minute and you click skip forward, it will go to the next five minute candle. If you're on the 30 minute and you skip forward, it will go to the next 30 minute candle. We can even try this on the 50 minute here too. We'll move forward to the next 50 minute. See, perfect. Okay, now another option, let's also set a pending order. So buy stop, let's change this to a sell stop. Using a sell stop, let's say we do 0.5% visual mode and place order. And now you see you have an additional line. We have this orange line, which is the level at which your pending order will be filled. And the blue line is going to be your take profit level. And now accept. Now your order is, is placed. And if price is reaching that level, the trade will open. Now let's go back to our time and play this. Maybe a little bit faster, 11 times, 10 times the speed. And if we let this run, and now you can really observe, see how price is moving. You can watch the candlesticks, see how the market is reacting to those levels. You can move back and forth between different time frames. And at any time, you can pause this. You can pause it at any time if you want to analyze it, if you feel like you need more time. If you go to the five minute here, for example, like I said, we can uh, skip forward. And this is now where you can rewind. So it means you can go back to the previous candle where you cannot always do this, but you can choose it in the settings. We've done this at the beginning where you can either select or deselect this option that allows you to go back in time. So we have it allowed. So obviously we can move forward and we can go back in time. Now let's play this again, see how this works out. So price is now moving in our direction even say this is moving in our direction some more all right so let's say that we want to move our stop loss so to move our stop loss we have to manage open trades and we click on here and you have a list with all the trades you have open so we have two trades open we first took a market order sell here and then we placed the pending order which is at that lower line and here we have the option to change our stop loss. So you see at what price level our stop loss is set. So we can, for example, delete the stop loss. It now has deleted it up there. We can do the same on this one. See now it deleted this stop loss too. And now we can add a new stop loss. So to add a new stop loss, I always choose the visual mode as well. It just makes it easier. We have this line again and you can place it wherever you want. Let's say maybe above this candle and we can do the same on that one use the visual mode add there's one more option where you can modify so if we click on this one here modify 
you can change both levels again of the trade. So we can change the take profit level and we can change the stop loss. So similar to what we've done at the beginning when we have placed a trade. Excellent. So let's let this run some more. Make this a bit bigger. Let's move to the 30 minute time frame. We can move this a bit out of the way here. Price is moving nicely in our direction. It's coming close. Let's speed up the time. Make this faster. See if we can reach our first take profit level or if the market is going to reject and it's starting to move up again. We don't know that yet, but we're still within that range. So we can say let's skip forward. If you want to accelerate the process, we can just skip forward here to the next candle. It's moving bearish. Okay, we got stopped out in this position and price is starting to move down. So price is moving down very nicely. Let's skip forward to maybe the next candle. Okay, so at this point, we could say we want to move our stop loss to break even. So we can click this button here where it moves automatically our stop to break even. Now we also have the option to close partial profits. So let's say you're running in a nice profit and you want to close Let's say 80%, 80% of your position, we close partials and there we go. Perfect. And now we can let the rest run. We just play and see if this is going to reach our take profit level, which it should has a high probability that we'll move down to this new support there. And since this is a simulation, we can speed up the time or you can make it faster. You can slow it down. You can skip forward to the next candle. Looks like it's coming down again. There we go. So now this position has been closed. Our take profit level has been reached. Let's proceed to the next step, which is going to be saving a simulation. Let's say you want to backtest an entire month and you've started. You've maybe done a couple of days on the simulation and now you want to save it and continue on another day. So we go to simulation, save and here you can choose the folder where you want it. Give it the name, let's say simulation session one. We'll call this and save it here. Now the simulation has been saved. Now close this. We can just close it. And this is where we get back to the beginning where you can load the simulation. So if you now click on load simulation, this is if you would open up MT5, everything again. And we have this test simulation. We can just open it and we are exactly back to where we were so now we can pick up exactly where we left off we can continue with the simulation you know we can uh, take more trades here and even skip to a specific session if you say we want to trade the let's say the london close for example we can just move forward and then continue trading here okay and the last step i'm going to show you here is how to view your trade history and statistics you click on trades here you get the same window and here you see your trade history. You can expand this and you see all the trades. So they're going to be listed as all the partial closes as well. They'll all be listed individually. And you also have the statistics here with everything. This is similar to what you have in MT5 when you're exporting your trade history. You can see your realized profits. You can see your, your drawdown, your overall loss, how many trades you had, how many were profitable, how many losses your long and short positions, which is really nice to, to get an idea and really see how your system, your, your performance is, where you, you still have some room to improve or what's already going really well. And then we can also view the graph, which here obviously doesn't have much because we just started and we only have taken a couple of trades. Now this completes this video. If you found this helpful or have any questions that have not yet been addressed, please leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next video. Take care and trade safe.